What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And today we are going to be watching uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 12. One is all, all is one. Normally we are a trio. There's usually three of us here. Um, our companion Zuff is out sick. He'll be back in a few episodes, but for now it's just going to be me and Bryce. You guys have been watching along with us. Uh, last episode, um, we were in Rush Valley. Winry wanted to stop there because it's like the the motherland of auto mail has like the latest and greatest stuff when it comes to auto mail and other things like that. We didn't get to spend too too much time in Rush Valley. They they actually got there and almost immediately got pickpocketed by Panina. Panina. Um, one thing that I do want to point out though that we saw that I thought was pretty interesting is they were all like marveling over Ed's. Uh, yeah, they had never seen they had never seen auto mail that was like his before. Yeah, so they're in like the heart of it where they're supposed to have all these crazy things and they were still so impressed by Winry's. So I thought She's that good. was pretty neat. But yeah, like I said, Panina did pickpocket Ed's pocket watch that like was his state alchemy uh, license pretty much I believe. Mm -hmm. So they went on a. Um, Chase found her at Dominic's shop where they uh, met up with her and uh, a lot of a lot of stuff went down there that was kind of unexpected to be honest yeah, uh, a miracle you could say yeah it was t the episode was titled like a miracle at Rush Valley and we were kind of like guessing what it would be and it was a child birth so baby the one lady was pregnant and Winry and Panina helped her deliver it. Winry really wanted like an apprenticeship with Dominic because after seeing how good he was. Yeah, he's like an automail genius. Yeah, he was pretty dead set on not taking her under his wing. And then after the successful childbirth to his grandson or um, daughter, his, I, I, I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. But either his way, his grandchild. Yeah, his grandchild, and uh, uh, they asked again. He still was like, "I don't do that, but I'm gonna recommend you to someone who's also like very, very good." And you could like, she asked if she can come watch him um, so every now and again, uh, yeah. work, and he said, "I'm not gonna stop you." So that led into uh, Winry Ed and Al all going sort of their separate ways. Um, Winry's gonna hang out in Rush Valley for a little bit, and Ed and Al are still on their way to. Um, I forget the name, Dublith, I think. Yeah, I think, that I think it's right. Dublith. Um, they're on their way to go see their master, essentially, uh, their alchemy teacher, um, could they, who they have not seen since before they lost their bodies. So this is going to be a very interesting interaction. All that being said, uh, I've been hyping this show up to Bryce and to Zuff uh, for, a, for a while since we started it. Um, we are on episode 12, so I feel like going forward, it's going to be pretty good. Like, you've got a lot of cool characters to be introduced to still. Um, honestly, like, most of my favorites you haven't even met yet. But yeah, I feel like now the, the show is like, really, really started. We're going to get into the good stuff, so I'm really, really looking forward to the rest of the show. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, everyone's been hyping up, like, 12 going forward, because, like, uh, from what you've said, it's, like... Kind bit of, of a slow start. Yeah, it's followed the same kind of pattern as the, the original, original for the most part. Yeah, and now it starts to branch off into its own thing. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see where we get into here, though. All right, guys. Before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Also, check out all the links in our description. First one's going to be for our Patreon. If you want to see the full uncut reaction to this episode and all other episodes and all other shows, uh, check that out. First link, like I said. Second link's going to be our Discord. Come chat with us about Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, we have text channels for every show that we watch but yeah definitely come talk full metal with us uh third link's gonna be for all of our merch uh i got some on right now uh some up on the the wall back there uh we got some shirts we got some stickers they're pretty cool check it out support us support the brand appreciate it uh the rest of our links are gonna be all of our social medias uh give us a follow we'd appreciate that as well and yeah we're gonna get right into the episode full metal alchemist brotherhood episode 12 one is all all is one let's do it Oh. Who's this? Brother, we've almost reached the Dublin. It was Dublin. I knew it, dude. <laughs> Relax. I was dreaming about him. Him. Ooh. Oh, well, we're finally here. It'd be nice if teacher wasn't home. <laughs> oh no. Teacher. Bro. This isn't teacher. Uh, hello, Sig. Long time no see. You've grown up a little, huh? 
Do you even know who Al is? You probably don't recognize me. Yeah. But it's Alphonse. Looks like you've grown up more. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, actually hasn't grown at all. Before I lost my body. Aww. The Elric shrimps have come for a visit. Do you think you can see them? I'll be right there. I'm feeling a little better today. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. I guess she hasn't gotten any sick. since last time. Oh god. Oh damn, bro. What Put to the face? What a way to greet someone. Hello, my stupid pupil. He's feeling a little bit better. You become one of the military's dogs. <laughs> Teacher, you see, it's because I'm Al? Look at you, oh. you've gotten so big. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> Put him on his ass. Your skills are rusty. You've got lots of energy for someone who's not feeling well. Not feeling well? What are you talking about? I'm perfectly. No. Oh. oh, well. How does she have tuberculosis? You shouldn't exert yourself. How sweet of you to worry, dear. What a good husband. She could probably beat his ass. <laughs> the Philosopher's Stone? No, I don't know much about it. It holds no interest for me. I see. Okay. There was that one alchemist. I thought that one man from Central knew a good amount about the stone. Let me think. What's his name? Ah, Hohenheim. <laughs> uh oh. So he was dreaming about? Him. What is it? And he's alive. Someone you know? <laughs> He's our father. Oh, oh snap. Out on you when you were little? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. It's all because of that bastard that our mother's dead. And if it wasn't for him. Owenheim. Their last name? No, it's his first name. Oh. Their last name's Elric. <laughs> what? <laughs> had to go potty. Fuck. And of course his big brother took care of him. Good big brother. Little man. Little man. Looks scary as fuck. He just never comes home. Alphonse is sick. Hey, why isn't dad here? Well, the daddy doesn't love us anymore. Never. Oh, she's probably fucking broken inside. Yeah. Yeah, she's crying. Aww. Now, finish your dinner, boys. Mom. Milk. He can't do the milk. Mm -hmm. Mom. Their mom really was all they had. Yeah. Oh no. You just became sick, um, right? Did yeah. Did our dad say anything about the Philosopher's Stone? Something about a lifelong dream coming true. He seemed very happy when he said it. <laughs> very now physical. Okay. Now we're going to eat. Hmm. <laughs> Looks fire. He can't eat. You should tell her about Rush Valley, about the baby being delivered. Oh, yeah. We helped deliver a baby. There was this big storm and we couldn't get the mother to a doctor. The mother was so brave. Everyone's blessed when a baby's born, huh? Yes, that's right. That same miracle brings us all into this world. Always take pride in the lives that we're giving you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird look. She hasn't changed one bit in all this Take time. me into your loving arms. No. They're short. My. What? Short arms. Yours. Mine. Oh, oh gosh. That looks terrifying. Up tight. We need 
Sandbags. <laughs> Moed. I'm not little. Oh. Brother, look. Their master. Izumi. Izumi Curtis. It's her last name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she clapped. Man. She, so she clap. doesn't. She doesn't need a circle either. Wow. <laughs> This little wall around it. Well, Considerably I'd... better than the sandbags. Yeah. That might do the trick. Here you go, dear. Oh. Hey old lady, could you be our teacher? Old lady. Oh. Oh. I'm a little hard of hearing, you see, so I didn't quite catch that. Please, please teach us, pretty lady. Mm -hmm. No way. Why not? Because I don't take on students. And besides, I'm in the middle of a trip. But please! please teach us. <laughs> what about your parents? Well, um, ma'am, these little ones don't have any parents. <laughs> yeah. It's just straight. Uh, ma'am. <laughs> They're actually orphans. <laughs> I'm their spokesperson. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna speak for them. I represent the Elric brothers. You two are on your own. This is your introductory training. If you do well, you'll move on to the main training phase. During this first stage, the use of alchemy is totally forbidden. One is all, and all is one. You have one month to figure out what that means. Damn. You'd better find the answer in the allotted time. If not, you're headed back to Risenbull! <laughs> one month. Be in a month. <laughs> Just stranded on an island. Ugh. I love so little Al. Angry. He's bigger than Ed right now. I think. You know what they say, no better teacher than experience. This is the best way for them to learn the essentials of alchemy. I'm teaching them the same way that I was taught. If they don't learn anything from this, it means their talent as alchemists will be limited. Mm. It's not their education I'm worried about. Their lives could be in danger out there. They're not doing anything that I haven't. My training began with a whole month in the Briggs Mountains. You know you shouldn't compare yourself to normal. Yeah, you seem like you're kind of built different. Yeah. Plenty of things to eat. They're not going to die. Oh, what a rabbit! Got one. Got one. How are we supposed to eat it? Take a bite. When you kill it. Kill it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, he hands him the knife. You always make me do the dirty work. Huh? Got out. Oh. Fox hey, got it. <laughs> they didn't catch that thing. Oh. Aww. Fox cups, look. Uh just switch to fish. Yeah. Wait, how are we supposed to get the fish? <laughs> we don't have any rods or line or, a good question. or anything. Gotta get fish. Here we are. No food, <laughs> no fire. It's been like two days. Thanks for staying positive, Al. <laughs> I want Al to get out of the body and just be like the same height. And just piss off at <laughs> it's hallucinating <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, cannibalism Chocolate. 
Oh no, Ed. Bro. So gross. I would not recommend. Elle, I'm still alive. I'm alive because I ate the ants. Uh. I'm alive because I consumed life. I'm still alive. Make a fire. Going to die. Hmm. Yeah. What is this? A spear. I <laughs> get them. The flock. I just kind of realized they have to. Yeah. We're eating good now. Little engineers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah, they're God. beasting. Eating frogs and shit. Boxers are like, yo. Give me some of that shit. Tomorrow will be one month. Nice. Have you figured out That's what I was just thinking about. One is, all and all is, one? is it about like life or what? I've been thinking about it this whole time. But I still only have a few vague ideas. I'm not really sure about this. But do you remember when I was weak from hunger and I ate those ants? I ate way too many. But then that got me thinking. If I hadn't eaten them, I might have died. Then I would have been eaten by them. Yeah. Everything is one. Circle. The, the circle of life. Out. You're talking about the food chain, right? Yeah, but it's not just that either. Long time ago, this whole island was probably at the bottom of the sea. It could be the peak of a mountain for all we know. Yeah, that's crazy. Are connected. Is that what you're saying? Everything we see, everyone we meet, is caught up in a great unseen flow. The entire universe, even. And compared to something as big as that, Al, you and I are tiny, not even the size of ants. Only one small part within the much greater flow. Was an ant chilling on his finger. Together, you get one great all, just like teacher said. Ed figured it out. This universe follows laws of such magnitude. I was just like, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, bro. I was thinking the same thing. Let's hear what you've learned about one is all and all is one. You just said it. All is the world, and one is me. <laughs> oh no! Don't tell me it's wrong. Very well. Okay. <laughs> Imagine she's like, "What the hell are you, guys <laughs> what talking, are you talking about?" about? Oh, Robbie, you would love this store. Meat. The basis of transmutation is the power of the circle. In order to call upon and harness this power, one must Oh, she's flexing on him. She's not circle. even moving. <laughs> Reading. Damn, Al. <laughs> you got up there. This is also the circulation of power. Oh. Of that, keep reviewing the morning's lessons until lunch is ready. The circle denotes the circulation of power. In order to call upon and harness this power, one must draw a structural matrix over the circle. Teacher, you just put your palms together to perform transmutations, don't you? You can do it without drawing the structural matrix. If you think about it a certain way, I myself am the Matrix. How do you do it? Tell us, teacher. No. Perhaps it's something you learn when you see the truth. Oh. The truth. We've seen the, the truth. The truth. I have seen the truth. Ed has the seen, has seen the, truth. the truth. too. Izumi Curtis has seen the truth. Sig Curtis has seen the meat. We've got the meat. <laughs> Arby's. Right. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Give him a break. Oh, he's a little bit more polished. Oh, oh, get What's that up shit with that off. arm, huh? As I suspected, you can transmute without a matrix. You've seen it. 
On top of which, Al is now a suit of armor, and two of your limbs are made from auto -made. Yeah. Teacher, how did you know? Please, I can tell from sparring with you! You saw it, didn't you, Edward? <laughs> yeah. You saw it! Yes! It seems both of us are beyond help. Because Alice is now a suit of armor. <laughs> She's a smart lady. <laughs> Teacher, you, you saw it too. Could you tell me? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> what did she lose? Ooh, what is that? Her like lungs? I don't know. What was it, Rob? Her rib cage. Her brain. For a while, it seemed we were barren. We wanted a child. Ah. Uh... When we were finally able to conceive, I ended up falling gravely ill. And our child as well. He was not able to take a living breath in this. Oh, that's fucked up. And so, I committed the taboo. Same thing As they did. Result, I lost parts of my inner organs. What an idiot I was. Now I realize I should have told you sooner. It must have been awful. <laughs> nah, I did it to myself after all. It hasn't been that big a deal, actually. Well, Besides, now I've got it's actually the biggest deal. <laughs> I get to look forward to eating when I have my body back. It's nothing, you darling little idiots. <laughs> it's okay to hurt. So she's gonna give us. We're so sorry, teacher. Please forgive us. We're so sorry. The flow of this universe follows. I thought she was still gonna beat their ass right there. You knowing her. Even imagine them. You have to understand that flow, deconstruct it, and then reconstruct it. That's what alchemy is, brother. So the basis of alchemy. Deconstruction and then reconstruction. reconstruction. It's just like the food chain, then, isn't it? Yep. Like when you eat a rabbit and your body breaks down its flesh, then it's restructured as part of yourself. Alchemy is part of that flow, and the flow is life itself. One month on the island. Mm hmm. All right, so we met. Uh, the infamous master, Ed Now's uh, alchemy teacher, Izumi, Izumi Curtis. Curtis. She's pretty cool. Very scary. Very threatening. But definitely a smart lady. Knows, knows what she's talking about. Definitely a really, really skilled alchemist, too. Yeah. Also does not need a transmutation circle. Just She is the Matrix. She's seen the truth. But yeah, that's um the only other person besides Ed that uh, we know of that has seen the is truth. Is that right? I don't know of anyone else. I'm just trying to think of... Yeah, maybe. We found out that that episode, the person Ed was dreaming about was their dad, who's also Hohenheim. an alchemist. Yeah. I don't think he's a state alchemist, right? No. Nah. Hohenheim. Heim. Yeah, he was just uh, an alchemist. Um, His name is Hohenheim. Ed was dreaming about him. Um, And then Izumi, their master, actually brought him up uh, when they asked her if she knew of anyone that had like a lot of knowledge about the Philosopher's Stone. She said, there's one guy that I can think of, and he's from Central. That's fucked Dude's up. Dude's name is Hohenheim. You could tell from Ed's face, he was immediately like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. I mean, to be fair, though, uh, they didn't even know if he was alive. So Yeah. Um, True. They got a little update there, I guess. But they didn't really seem to care no, too no, much. they hate him. Yeah. I think he blamed him, saying he's the reason their mom's dead. Yep. So, I don't know really A lot of resentment there, yeah. for sure. I don't want to see Ed now beat his ass, but he, I mean, he's probably pretty strong if he 
is that knowledgeable in Philosopher's Stones. Probably guessing they're going to eventually go see him here soon. I, I want to know, like, why they blame him so much. Just because if he left her, because, like, she died of sickness, right? So yeah. I don't think it would be his fault she got sick. Uh, yeah, but he would have been there to take care of her. Whereas, mm -hmm. like, they were children. They yeah. couldn't take care of her. Like, you needed someone else there. And he's, like, a super accomplished and talented alchemist. Like, he definitely could have helped her yeah. in, some, in some capacity. Yeah, we found out uh, their master, Azumi, actually performed human transmutation as well uh, in the past. She had lost a child, um, miscarried, and, yeah, she had performed the taboo, tried to bring her child back, and in return didn't work, and she had to give up some of her internal organs. So that's why she throws up blood a lot. They had like a little nice moment there at the end. Probably the only one they've had with yeah. their master thus far. Like at least that we've seen. She was like actually very caring. Yeah. And like nurturing to them. I think them. it's definitely something they needed to. Yeah. Because like this whole time, like they even tried to do it with her, they're just like, ah, it's fine. Yeah. We don't care about our bodies. Uh I'm writing no. down the food I can eat when I'm human. It's all they care about. It's the their entire reason for being alchemists and everything is mm. so they could get their bodies back all right guys well that's pretty much it for episode 12 of full metal alchemist brotherhood if you like this video make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description first one's going to be for our patreon we have all of our uncut reactions over there so if you want to see the full raw reaction to this episode and all other episodes make sure to check that out uh second link's gonna be for our discord we have text channels for every show that we watch if you want to come talk full metal with us uh, or anything really make sure to check that out second link like i said uh third link's gonna be for all of our merch we got some shirts we got some stickers uh, i'm wearing some stuff right now um pretty cool wrap the brand support us we'd appreciate it and the rest of our links are going to be our social medias give us a follow yeah we'll see you next time for full metal alchemist episode 13 peace